In this video, this is just on the pump itself, that blue guy right there. That's the bladder tank, that's where your air pressure is. And then that black thing and the uh, chrome looking thing, that's where your pump and your water housing is. And the top is your outlet, to the left there is your inlet. I've got the pipe all sealed up. To keep it from freezing, I'm going to have to uh, protect that guy there. That guy right there and even the tank itself because air pressure when it gets cold also decreases. There will be a, a box around this whole thing. So it will be an insulated box and I'll have a heater inside the pump house to uh, keep it warm. But this is a nice uh, pump. It's one inch on the inlet and the outlet and this is the pump I'm using it's called a uh, I'll show you here in a second it's called a shallow well pump and it's actually recommended for my little use that I'm gonna have which is just in my RV mainly to do showers and sink and your toilet what I will use at the toilet that is alright so here's the box on the pump it's a uh, Pacific Hydrostar. It's a, it's a one horsepower shallow well pump. 920 gallons per hour. One inch inlets and outlets. 98 foot head lift and 28 foot 26 foot um, well depth and the pressure PSI is between 20 and 35 now this is one of those Harbor Freight deals so I got it on a smoking price it is also 120 so I'll be having to run it off my inverter I've got a check valve before and after this pump the check valve before represents the foot valve and because I'm pulling it from a tank instead of a well and then the uh, check valve afterwards it just keeps the whole pressure in this tank so it doesn't cycle on and off all the time this should give me a plenty of pressure for my trailer and for my showers and my um, sink and dishes and and even if I were to use my toilet So, this is the Pacific Hydro Star 1 inch, 1 horsepower shallow well pump. Alright, here you have 50 feet plus 25 feet of hose, and that's a pretty good stream. Nothing wrong with that. That's off that Harbor Freight. The only issue is, it takes 120 power, so I got the generator on. But that's, that's not too bad. That's 75 feet, and look at what it's doing. That's plenty of water to shower with. And uh, going through three quarter inch pecs. That's about 50 feet, and this half inch um, RV hose. And that's what you got. I like it. I'm very pleased so far. We'll, uh, we'll take a look in the next year or so and see how it does.